President Bola Tinubu has ordered the Inspector General of Police to immediately restore peace and order in River State. And three local government offices in Riverside have been set ablaze in the wake of local council elections and the swearing of uh, the winners in the weekend exercise. Hello everyone, welcome to the program. This is Politics Today, live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Wakimale in Abuja. Well, not a good day for those who have been following the reverse politics. It does look like some sort of a Magadan is really befalling the, in the political atmosphere in the state. I will be letting you in all of what is happening. Now, the president, Bolatinabu, has weighed in and it's all that that a Nigeria police force to protect the local government sectors in River State against incursion by Assanese and Vandas. Presidential spokesperson Bayo Nanoga, uh, in a statement uh, released by the presidency earlier today, says after the rampaging hoodlums aggrieved with the outcome of Saturday, LGP buttoned down some council secretaries in the Orange State in response to recent tensions following last Saturday's local government election election that the, the president expressed deep concern over reports of arson and explosions in the state. And I went further uh, to say that the president uh, has asked that government facilities built with public funds must be, must be safeguarded from vandalism. The president has also called on Governor Simon Lai Fubara, the governor of River State, political leaders and their supporters to exercise restraint and uphold the rule of law. He also urged all political actors to de-escalate the situation and discourage their supporters from engaging in violence or destructive actions. The president has ordered the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Kaudi Gretukun, uh, to immediately ensure that peace and order returns to the state. And of course, we understand now that the police have been responding to what has become uh, sort of a... Uh, Co condemnation on the, the passing of the Inspector General of Police and the, uh, the police have said that uh, it will not engage uh, political uh, politicians in a uh, uh, brick bat, a verbal brick bat over what is happening in River State. The police today in a statement released by Muyua Adijabi says that uh, they followed due process order of court in ensuring that they, uh, they do their duties diligently. And uh, the police went further that uh, it will not engage Governor Fubara, who has come after his person. So much to unravel tonight. I'm going to show you pictures from each of the states. And of course, we do know that Governor Fubara is now uh, visiting and inspecting some of uh, uh, the facilities that uh, were raised today. And we'll be getting uh, insight from those who are in the know, those who are well respected, and the voices are those that uh, will shape the narrative uh, in the coming days in reverse. So stick around, around with me because in the next couple of minutes, we're we'll serving you with political roundup stories. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Kudira Kekirekun, has assured the agency is out of the responsibility of tackling corruption in the country of the continuous support of the judiciary in the fight against corruption in Nigeria. She stated these are the two-day capacity building workshop organized by the EFCC and the National Judicial Institute for Justices and Judges in Nigeria, aimed at fostering collaboration between the judiciary and the anti-graft agencies towards enhancing the dispensation of justice in Nigeria. 
According to Hart, the judiciary plays a vital role in the fight against corruption, and this requires a strong synergy. There are now new chairmen at the hands of affairs in Jigawa State, and Governor Uma Namadi of Jigawa State has called on the newly elected chairmen and councillors from the 27 local government areas to be diligent in carrying out their duties. The government made a call during the swearing-in ceremony following the local government elections on Saturday. Similar events also in Benin State, where Governor Aysen Alia swore in the 23 local government chairmen elected on the platform of the All Progressives Congress from Saturday's polls for the chance to be transparent and accountable as they exercise their autonomy as a third tier of government. Speaking to journalists after the swearing-in ceremony in Makodi, the government charges the elected officials not to fail the people who have clamored for good governance. And in Akwebom State, Governor Moore has sworn in elected chairman and vice chairman of the 31 local government areas of the state with a chance for them to make the people's welfare a priority as encapsulated in the manifesto of the Governor Moore and no administration. Governor Eno thanked the leadership of the Akwebom State Independent Electoral Commission for their commitment to the conduct of a fair and free election. Meanwhile, members of the PDP Reconciliation Committee have visited your your state governor, Shei Makinde, to encourage unity of purpose and strength as a strong political force in the state. The Deputy Governor Bayer Lawal received the committees on behalf of Governor Makinde and asked every member and leader of the PDP to live beyond personal sentiments for the greater good of the party and Nigerians as a whole. Lastly, the President of the Civil Rights Congress of Nigeria and former Senator representing Kaduna North, Senator Shewusani, is asking the nation's political class to unite in order to combat insurgency and all forms of insecurity bedeviling the country. Addressing a news conference at Abuja, Senator Sani says the fight against insurgency is being hampered by the distractions from the nation's political class and elites who are politicizing the situation. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us. Now you've been served with your political roundup stories. Now let me bring you up close and uh, personal. With some of what is happening today, um, let's begin uh, and bring you up to speed with some of the instances and the events uh, that led to the burning of some of these three local government uh, area offices. First is a section of the LMA Local Government Council Secretariat, which was set ablaze earlier today and according to a telephone conversation with a former ambassador or June Gopher who is from LMA, the newly elected chairman Brain Gopa came to the council sector accompanied by his councillors and supporters but discovered that a few of the buildings in the council had been set ablaze. I this place. I will show you the picture and everything order to cover up the level of impeachment that was done here, just to cover up they are stealing. From LMA, let me take you to a mobile council that some unknown individuals who sat up barricaded at the entrance to a secretariat uh, resisting or resisted the resumption of the new chairman David Omeriju in a social media video which uh, may not be at the moment be verified. Uh, some of them were heard chanting, quote, no weekend, no river state. And uh, so far, we understand no arrests have been made, and the police are yet to uh, release any statement on the particular situation in that local government where there seems to be some uh, fear of a potential outbreak of violence in some of uh, the areas surrounding the local government office. As you can see, uh, the moment in which the office was set on fire. From a move uh, local government to uh, Equerry local government, the newly built council sector at, at Isiopo uh, in the Equerry local government area was also set ablaze. It does look like a coordinated attack attacks on these local government secretariat. A resident in the area confirmed the incident to China's television earlier today as we now found some videos circulating on social media showing the administrative building on fire, just as you can see. All of these have followed the withdrawal of the police officers securing the 23 council secretaries by the commissioner of police. And of course, the police have also been explaining uh, the, uh, the instance and the decision to take that action. And they said they followed a due process of law 
and court orders in that respect. All right, then, let's get because uh, sometimes when this kind of situation is happening, you need to call the elders in the land in some kind of town hall and have very re well respected uh, politician and an elder state woman uh, from Riverstead and, of course, a PDP chieftain, a former military governor. Uh, Chief Olabode George joins us virtually, as well as Ms. Ankeo Briggs, uh, a Niger Delta environmental rights activist, and of course, uh, in our own right, an elder state person uh, from River State. Thank you so much, uh, gentlemen and lady, for joining us tonight. Um, sure. uh, perhaps, Ms. Briggs, can you give us an understanding? You are on the ground. What could have led to the escalation that we saw today? Looks like a coordinated attack in all this local government and res resistance that we saw against uh, the newly elected and sworn in uh, leaders of the local council. Yes, uh, good evening. Thank you very much for having me. Um, this is really awful. And we've been crying out since last October since this political madness started in River State, we've been crying out. Now, the witch cried in, in the night, the child died in the morning, and we're looking for the cause of the death. No, we know exactly what is going on. The specific local government that is on fire are the specific local governments that have refused to accept that their tenure has been over for three months. The specific local governments are the same local government, the leaders of this local government are the ones that have called the governor all sorts of names since last year. So for us in River State, as of what happened yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, we had an election, winners emerged, they were sworn in yesterday. I was in the chambers where they were sworn in. And the governor was very clear that definitely there was going to be something based on the rumors that was going on. Now, we have a police force that for the past three, uh, three months have had the local government of River State, so 23 of them, under lock and key after the tenure of the local government chairman had expired. Under, he claims, um, court order. He chooses which court orders that he wants to obey. And this morning, all of them were ordered to leave the local government areas, knowing fully well that there was going to be trouble. Leaving the duly elected local government chairman to the, to, to the dangers that is playing out on our television screens since morning in River State. Anything that goes on in River State will affect the whole of Nigeria economically. Now, we've had that the, uh, the president has issued a statement. We've been calling on the president for over a year to do something. We heard a few months ago that the president said he doesn't want to be involved in what's going on in River State. Now that this has transpired, gov uh, uh, local governments are on fire in River State, and the president is now calling on the governor of River State, and I don't know who else that is nameless that the president has refused to name, and he's calling on them to make sure that the state is safe. The police is supposed to keep the state and the property of the state government safe. And now that we are left naked by the whims of uh, the police, we are being called upon to take responsibility for the fire that they have set that is raging in River State. This is dangerous 
and it's unacceptable to the people of River State. If nobody is going to defend us, we are very likely going to have to be left to defend ourselves. Let me speak for a moment with uh, Chief Alabode Judge. Chief Judge, you came out in a statement and you were very direct in your uh, thinking about what is going on in River State. Um, can you speak to what you said in your statement in respect of uh, the kind of violence that we're seeing in River State today? Yeah, uh, thank you for uh, inviting me, uh, Sean. You know, as an elder of our party, if there are issues placating or emanating from within the system, it is the responsibility of the board of trustee of our party to be the elders in the room to calm the nerves. Um, I was shocked, you know, when I started reading all sorts of things and uh, and then culminated in this final burning of uh, properties of the government. Um, I want to appeal to all sides. This is the time to cool off. The economic situation in Nigeria is in dire straits. And to now conflagrate the properties of River State government, you know, also calls for everybody to have an attention. You know, what, what drove me to write uh, my appeal to the president, to Fubara, UK, was I was in secondary school between 1960 and 1964. We witnessed in Western region, the whole Western region, we witnessed the way this crisis started. It was an election that was held. The, the election was manipulated and it led to all kinds of uh, unbelievable situations. That was the beginning of Adekoya because the farmers in the whole of Western region at that time came out in support of action group. But before we knew it, we were in high school. I was in form four, form three. Yeah. At that time, we had we had to go out to town to go and fetch water. That was by, you know, as student, we saw what was going on. And we, I have prayed that that kind of thing we should never again happen in Nigeria. So as they were driving, and situations were going in this, in this direction. I said, look, Mr. President, call your minister to order, call the police to order, uh, Governor Fubara, please take full control of the state. Because you see, it normally starts in this little form. And I am happy that uh, the police now has decided that they are now going to now jump in and ensure that there is security of life and property. Because it, who, who creates that? The first responsibility of any government is to provide security of lives and property in their states. And the way it was going, the way it was, if nothing is done, that is the cash cow. That yes, is the, the, the number one uh, income for this country, we uh, Chief Judge, uh, if, if I may come in quickly, it yes. does look like, uh, because uh, a lot of people imagine that you are one of those who vehemently fought uh, against uh, taking the ticket of your party at a presidential election to the north. And there are those yeah. who would think that yeah. uh, Chief Judge was on the side of Governor Wiki and those who, are, or who believe in that, uh, in that perspective. Uh, but now, right. in your statement, you have said that uh, former Governor Wike should allow Governor Sim Fubara to govern. Mm -hmm. So yes. there are those who are already saying that, oh, it does look like you have abandoned uh, Governor Wike to side with Governor Fubara. Uh, yeah. What went wrong? Listen, Shion, I live on justice. I live on fairness. 
I live on uh, 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 respect for the rule of law. When the party decided that they were going to go against this particular section of our constitution, section 7, subsection 3C, states emphatically that after eight years of presidential governance, there must be rotation. In other words, if it's to the north, it must come to the south. And we, it, it was a kind of a long story. We fought it out there. I Look, my great-granduncle was the first Nigerian politician. I came from that home. Papa Habat Macaulay. Respect the, the, you know, the, the justice, fairness, and equity. And that was why we decided, look, we will not go with this. You cannot have chairman of the party in one zone and the same zone to provide a political, I mean, a, a presidential candidate. It doesn't work. That was what we were fighting for. Uh, and towards the end, we came out, they decided, are you now decided, you know, that he wasn't going to go and all that. All of a sudden, you know, the crisis in uh, rivers popped up. I, I was away. When I came, I read uh, a report that uh, Governor uh, Fubara was going to another. Ask him. I called him. Frantically, I said, Excellency, is it true that you are leaving the party? He said, no, sir. Ah. I said, thank God. So what is the problem? Then I called the chairman of our board of trustees, and that was why we visited him in Portacot to hear his own side of the story. And we made sure that we will also hear the side of uh, Wiki. So we, as the elders of the party, the upper chamber, we bring them all together. But this, the, the issue of the election, where uh, they didn't even tell the man, the chief executive of the state, who is the leader of the party in that state, it's him. That he would, you know, they will be coming for local government elections, not not the executive, but the party ones. And I listened to what uh, Wiki said. I had traveled. Then I called the governor. I said, "Okay, now what are you going to do?" He told us what he would do. That he will remain with this man. And you can see that the governor's forum in PDP are completely behind him. So what do you expect us to do? So are you be, are, are, tonight, are you behind Governor Wike or Governor Fubara? But we, it's, not, it's not a matter of being be, behind this or behind that. All I want is justice, fairness, and equity. Fubara, Wike, they are like my children. Because, you know, I am not a small man now in my age. They, they fall in, within the age of my, my first child. So they are, and as a member, of this PDP, I will fight for justice. And, and, and what, what do you and, call and, and, justice and in this, this instance? This, Chief Judge, the, what, what, what do you call justice in this instance? Justice is simple. Our constitution, read it. Who is the leader of the party in the state? It's not the minister. It is this governor. So we got to stand by him. To be able to exercise, he, he, he even, you know, the, the, the beauty of it was he stated categorically he wasn't leaving the party. All right, Chief Judge. And then they, they, yeah, Chief they Judge. carried out this election. Yeah, and the election, why would anybody, I'm so shocked about it, but the party itself, the party itself, I've not finished. By the time they went to see Wiki, I still don't know the outcome. Chief Judge. But for me. Pardon me, please. Yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. Just give me For just me, a moment. Me. Uh, uh, okay. Ms. Ankyo Biriks, please give me a moment. Let's hear from the executive governor of River State, Governor Simfubara, who is live with us. Uh, what a day is being. Your Excellency, thank you so much indeed for joining us tonight. Um, three Simple. local government offices burnt down in your state today. Your Excellency, yeah. 
Let, let's get your initial reaction to what has happened today. Good evening, Shema. Good evening, Your, your Excellency. Um, I'm just coming in from uh, a quiet one. We went to pay condolence to our brother who lost uh, his wife. And as I came in, I also got additional uh, reports of uh, what happened. It's really unfortunate. I need to say this so that uh, everyone can hear from me directly. Early hours of this morning, we heard of the incident in the uh, Eleme local government area where a section of the secretariat, the council's ability was put. We also saw video making rounds of uh, the complete destruction of uh, the Quira local government uh, council secretariat. We also got reports that uh, some parts of a more local government council were also destroyed. It's really, really unfortunate. I need to say this. First of all, why do we need to do this? Election has come. Election has gone. The winners of the elections have been sworn in. They have a duration. After that, they will leave the office. Why do you need to destroy government facility? Things that were built with council's resources. She will be surprised to, to, to this. The equivalent local government council that is destroyed was built by the immediate past council chairman. And I can tell you that is his legacy project. Why would you also go behind to destroy something that you did? Everybody knows in Nigeria that I have no hand in what is happening. We had election. It was the protest that the election should not hold. The election finally held. We inaugurated the winners of the election. And you were also hearing people boasting. I told you when I was, in fact, the people heard it when I was inaugurating them, that I heard that they were mobilizing 2020 uh, uh, persons per, per, per word so that they could go and demonstrate and cause mayhem. And this is a result of it. This is a result of it. I can tell you on good authority. This might not be the, 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 the only uh, instance where I'm from. I'm aware that all local government council have been marked down. The Faga council have been marked down for destruction. Why do we need to go this low? My meekness is not being weak. I need to say this. My meekness is not being weak. But I, I understand that we don't need to go violence for violence. River State is our state. We need to protect the little thing we have. Governor Fubara, uh, if I may but, ask you, uh, if I may ask you quickly, uh, why, how did things degenerate this badly? Because there are those who will say, you and the former governor, you were one and the same because you, were, you worked together. I mean, what exactly is in the bottom of all of this? What exactly went wrong? Where did things go wrong? So honestly, I wouldn't want to discuss here, but we all know the issue. It's very simple. It has to do with the issue of power, control. It's not about that. You can even say it in this case. If election has been held in River States and council chairmen have been inaugurated in a normal situation, do we even need anybody to go and obstruct them from entering the secretariat? Maybe there's somebody somewhere who believes, that, no, I still am a poof and higher than the authority in the states. That's all. It's just an issue of power. But I tell you, my brother, I don't intend to discuss it, and I don't want to join issues with that. I want to focus on governance. Manage the situation as much as I can. That is what is important to me. But, but, but politically Everybody speaking, uh, Your Excellency, yeah, if I may come in quickly, politically, there are those who will say, yeah, for the man who brought you into office, yeah, that there are understanding and agreement that you have. Why is it difficult to be for your for you to keep your own side of the bargain since you uh, assume office? Because th that's the allegation against you that you are unable to keep your own side of the bargain. 
Why is that difficult? I don't think there's any understanding we have that I've not kept. I can say it here. There is no understanding that we have that I've not kept. That is the truth. Like I said, I honestly would not want to discuss those issues. What I'm appealing is everyone should share their sword. Even to the minister, there is no need to destroy the states. He once ruled the states. The state was the envy of every other state. Another person is there now. What you need is to give the support. After four years or who knows, eight years, I will also leave another person will take over. That should be the spirit. When it comes to election period, you can fight and do whatever. But now it's time for governance. We need all the support. We're here complaining that Nigeria has a problem, a reduction in our oil production. We're trying to improve the, 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 our, 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 our production uh, stage. And we are here, here. This is the heart of where the problem is. We have the problem in Emowa. We have the problem in Degema. We are trying to manage it. And we're now adding in-house issues. This is an in-house issue that ought not to be out. Yeah, uh, so give us so an I, understanding. I, 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 yeah. I, 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 yeah. So I, I like I, to I ask you. I feel very bad. That, that's me. Now, my, my, my question will be, the president has written in today and he says that uh, we, uh, the, all parties should shed their swords and everyone should allow the court to be able to adjudicate in this matter. And, uh, uh, you know, every, calm should remain and the IG should restore uh, the order in the state. What are your reactions to the president's intervention? I don't have any issue with it. But I'm a bit concerned when my name was only mentioned. But like I said, since it's coming from the president, I have no comment about it. But you, you see, this issue is a very straightforward issue. It's as simple as an ABC. Everyone in Nigeria, everyone in River State knows where this issue is coming from. It is not, it's not, it's not, it's not rocket science. We know what the issue is, and the issue is not Fubara. It's not. I mean, if, if I may well, ask I you a direct well, question, well, well, if there is, well, if, well, I Governor Fubara, I if, if well, there is I, one thing... I want to say, I want to say this, Shegu, Shegu, All right. I believe strongly that with the recent intervention of the Inspector General of Police, maybe we'll have a relative peace, because maybe as a result of him pulling out, pulling his men out of those secretaries might be one of the reasons why they had to take advantage of it. But I will appeal that why the, uh, the, 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 the the officers are there, the elected officers also have the opportunity to do their work. At least let, let them provide security for them, which was even what I was thinking of. I was never of the opinion that the, the Nigerian police should pull out completely. No, 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 no. But when they said they were moving out, it was what gave opportunity for these miscreants yeah. to take advantage of, of uh, the secretaries. Uh, to destroy them. I know, I understand that. So I want, I, I, I'm of the support that he should come back, support the elected officers to secure those councils because they belong, is a, pro, a, a public property. We all need to join hands together to protect them. So I, I'd like to ask you a, a straight and direct question. If there is one thing that could allow for peace, perhaps a permanent one, and it's for you to give are you willing to give Governor Fubara for the sake of peace? I can put names here. I can put names, but for some reason, let me leave it. There is nothing I've not done on this earth for peace to reign. I can tell you the truth. I can tell you the number of times that I've kneeled down to beg that let's allow this issue to go. But, you know, I feel, uh, 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 like I said, I, I, I don't even want them to talk about this. Thing. I've done everything. And if, even as of today, if there's anything that I can do, or there is any way we can get to a point of making peace, I assure you, 
I'm willing to do it because this is important to me. What is important to me is let River State be normal. With all the problem we're having, the wonderful job I'm doing in this state cannot seen because of the crisis. It's only when I come out and tell people that I'm doing this or the other day, that's how you mean this is what this is what is going on in the state? Because the whole thing everybody is hearing is one crisis or another. If it's not from some set of uh, members of uh, this, it's some group of people. Or if not from this group, it's from one arm, one, 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 one uh, uh, security agency. You know, it's, 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 in fact, let me even tell you, there is a report I just got now that with what is happening, that some persons have already been penciled down for arrest because they are close to me. I might not be surprised by tomorrow when you when you hear their names have been declared wanted. I can tell you. So, so go governor, it's as bad as that. Yeah. So you you have some intelligence about. Uh, it does look like you had a premonition or some information about the attacks of today. What did you use those information for? Were you able to give them to security agencies to avert this kind of uh, violence and disaster we saw today? Yes, um, it, early hours of the morning, that was when I was, I got the signal that the IG has ordered that uh, the, pol the, the police officers should withdraw from the secretaries. And at that time, there is nothing I could have done because it was very early hours of the morning. So they took advantage of that time to invade those places and cause all this uh, disruption that was seen. But I also spoke with the outgoing uh, uh, commissioner who assured me that he was going to bring in the new person but also discuss on the way forward since he's already leaving. So I'm, I'm trying to put some things in place provided the new commissioner of police is willing to cooperate with me. And I can assure you that all the issues will be, will be sorted out. I maintain that I need peace in the states. I don't feel happy hearing every time River State is in the news on for, for, for bad reasons. It's not. It's not. It's not good. Uh, there are those who imagine that you are the chief security officer of the state, and they've accused you of not being firm enough. Uh, are you? Are you willing to take up that challenge tonight? Because uh, you have also said that you are worried that there might be more escalation of this violence in the coming hours and the coming days. Are you able to take up the challenge for those who think that Governor Fubara is not firm enough as a chief security officer of River State? Shebo, when you say firm, I'm the governor. You already know the story. As a governor, chief security officer as written by the organization of the Constitution, but when you don't have control over the security agencies, how can you achieve a complete protection of life and property? I just said here that I'm, will, I'm, I'm praying that the new commissioner that is coming will give me all the cooperation for us to work together. If we don't, we're not talking about a, a former security uh, agency, that's a different matter. I don't need to go down to go start using informal security to secure the state. No, no. We are not uh, in a, uh, what I call it, the uh, Banana Republic. We still need to put all our energy, our support, and rely on the Nigerian police and the office of the, the, the DSS for protection of life and property in the state. I can assure you, I have all it takes. I have the guts. You've seen it in a few in a, in a, in a few things. I can I can do a lot. But in all, I also try to control what I do. So that if I'm asked anywhere, why is this action taken? I can defend my action. Governor so Fubara. I, 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 yeah. Let, so, let me let me ask you quickly. There are those who are of the view that what happened over the weekend, where APP, a party that a lot of people think that you supported through the back door because your party, according to you, do not have that kind of control, uh, won uh, 22 out of the 23 local government 
uh, chairmanship say that those who think that you have crushed Wiki's structure and you have uh, politically now being in uh, at, at this driver's seat in reverse there. Uh, does that give you some confidence that it will help you politically to drive on? When, when you say the issue of structure, political, no, no, I think uh, we're getting it wrong. River State was on a crossroad. The Supreme Court gave a judgment that all the councils should transit to elected council chairmen. Unfortunately, at that time, we were running on a caretaker. There is no way I wouldn't conduct an election. As a matter of fact, we had an understanding after that ruling with Mr. President, and he gave us a window of 90 days to comply. The 90 days expires on the 31st of October. I needed to do so. It is clear that there's no way that election would have been conducted in my party, considering the drama surrounding my party. So I opted for something safer to secure the civil servants that are working in the local government to ensure that we have an administrative officers that will man the affair of the council. And that is what I did. So when it is the issue of uh, structure, structure, I don't know what you're talking about. That's not my issue now. My issue is to ensure that the council work effectively, that there is no problem in reverse. Because the way I saw it, it was going. It was like we were trying to to cage the state, to put us in a situation where once it gets to 31st of, December, of uh, October, River State will not function in the aspect of the local government. So I have to do something about it. And that, and that, and that is the truth about it. It's not a issue of uh, uh, APC, APP, or whatever PDP. I say the many member of the People's Democratic Party. But, but, but do you regret your action of using the APP not as, at a, all. as an SPV? I said not at all. Not at all. If this you had the opportunity of doing it again, would you do it? I will do it again. But, uh, uh, Your Excellency, can you tell Nigerians tonight, uh, who is the leader of the PDP in River State? I think uh, I had the money judge <laughs> just explain to you. I think Chegu, that is one of the greatest problems that we're having here. I I don't know who is the leader. I'm not contesting leadership with anybody. I just want peace in my states so that we can move ahead. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Just before I allow you to go, sir, uh, can you tell us <laughs> if you see Governor Wike right now, what would you be telling him? I'll tell him that it's, that's going to a point where he needs to let go. We need peace in the states. Eh? You don't you, you, you don't necessarily need to win all the fights. At times, you just let go. It's sick of the good people of the state and the love that he has always professed for the state. We need to secure the state. We don't need to burn down the states. So where will we live tomorrow? Who knows who is going to come? Maybe through him, maybe through a person. But we need to see, keep the state intact. Governor Fubara, thank you. Did you ever, I mean, uh, ever, ever thought that this could happen with your political godfather? Ever, when you, when you were running for this office? Did you ever think that things will go uh, awry between both of you? Sure, well, if I've gotten, I mean, any sign of it, I wouldn't have been here. That is the truth. There was no sign of it. And that's why I followed the course to this point. Uh, so from your own point of view, you are not the cause. You are, will, you are a, willing, uh, 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 a willing follower of Governor Wike, but you thought that you are in a difficult situation that will not allow you to do your job well. Is that the situation? Chairman, I need to run the government that I put on the 29th of May before the rivers people. And that is what I'm doing now. Governor Simla Ayifubara, thank you so much for speaking to us tonight, at least clearing the air about some of these issues, most importantly for the interest of the good people of River State. Thank
Thank you so much indeed for your time tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so very much. much. Sir. Appreciate it. Good night. We we'll take a break, everyone. But when we return, don't forget, I still have Chief Olabode, George, and Miss Anki Bricks uh, talking to us about the situation River said underway for. We'll be right back, everyone. Stay with us. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us. You heard Governor Simla Yufubara, Governor of River State, Chief Alabode Judge, and Ms. Ankyo Briggs. Both of them have been speaking on this matter. Well, uh, Ms. Ms. Briggs, let me come back to you quickly. Give us an understanding. You heard what the governor said and his own perspective in allowing peace to reign and the way forward. Uh, what are your views? Um. We also heard the uh, Chief Bode Judge say earlier on that um, the governor of the state, uh, Governor Similai Fumara, is the leader of their party in River State. Um, the governor himself told you that he doesn't know who is the leader of the party. That just shows you what River's people have endured in the past one year. And I agree with the governor when he said, he was shocked when he heard his name mentioned in that uh, statement that was made by the president. I was shocked. You know, when you called me uh, earlier on, I told you I was in a meeting. I, uh, I don't want to mention where it was, but I told you I was in a meeting. Well, I said that at that meeting when I heard that statement by the, um, by the president. I mean, we have not, by a long shot, seen the end of it. This is just the beginning. And they, I'm telling you, this is dangerous because you see, the governor has told you that he's willing to do anything. The governor said to you, to my shock, that he has even knelt down to say, let there be peace in River State. That's the governor of his state. He's not begging for a position. He is begging for peace. From whom is he begging for this peace? Look, Rivers people will put up with as much as they can put up with, and then they will put up with it no more. Governor Sim Fubra is the governor of River State, and both Rivers people and Governor Sim Fubra should be allowed to live in peace. The election is in 2027 if the president is running for a second tenure. But we want Governor Sim Fubra to run for a second tenure. What is going on here is very, very dangerous. Uh, Chief George, what can you say about the kind of political conundrum that the governor found himself? Uh, having to be in a political party, but having to be able to now set up an SPV to be able to run for a local government uh, election. It must have been a very difficult one that he found himself, but it does look like he's got in that political teeth to be able to bite. Uh, now, that political party that he fronted with won 22 out of the 23. I mean, isn't that he has learned so well from his political godfather? Or what? how do you describe that kind of situation? <laughs> you know, you know, this is the real politics now, where the party, the party has to wake up. The party has to follow the dictates as stated in our constitution. You know, you asked me a question that, yo, we were with WK when they started, remember after that convention, when they asked, are you to resign so that we can balance the, uh, the zoning? He refused to resign. And of course, if one is flouting your constitution, as an elder in the party, I won't follow that kind of uh, 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 group. And that is what has led us to where we are now. I am happy that when I came and I asked him whether he's actually living or not, and told me he's a bona fide member of the PDP, I spoke with the, the, the chairman of the board of trustees and then made an attempt with uh, a group of uh, BOT members to visit uh, Fubara, to listen to his side. And thereafter, I spoke with Wiki that he should give an appointment, that we are coming to see him. And he told me that after he returns from uh, uh, China, he will be ready to meet with them. Unfortunately, 
They had been there, but I, I hadn't been. So I don't know what is the outcome. The responsibility of the board of trustees is to wait in when you have such crisis that the uh, executive uh, managers of the party cannot handle. That's why you have the upper chamber to listen. These are elders in the room. They must have, they have, um, I spoke with the chairman of the board of trustees. He told me that they had met BK. The outcome of it, we couldn't discuss. So when I get home, we will find out. And we will wait in. Chief Judge. We don't want the party to, 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 to disappear. Chief Judge. And you can see the crisis that is, that are making the, the governor uncomfortable. And there is a saying in my part of the world, in Yoruba language, when you give somebody a ram, you you let go the rope with the ram. So are you, are you referring you to uh, Governor Wiki now? That Governor yeah. Wiki should let go. You come that church, you should let go. There are he has another responsibility. Like I said in my own outcome, he is also my uh, my my boy. Why? What is this? You've seen it in life. Is there any perpetuity? Eh? Perpetuity in anything you do in life? There will be an end someday. Even uh, uh, Alexander the Great that conquered the then whole world, when he passed on, when he, they told him to, as he was going back home that, look, you are going to die. He said, what? You can't do anything. They told him, no, nothing can be done. He said, okay, when I die, put me in a coffin. Open the coffin, put my hands out so that people would know he was going back to his grave with nothing. He gave everything that he had. You need a lot of calmness. You need a lot of uh, uh, forbearance. You need a lot of commitment. I mean, I, I don't know what is going on with our people. If you please, please. And that's why the Board of Trustees have gotten themselves involved in resolving this crisis. Let, let it be. The boy, you know, the governor told us his own side, exactly what he told you. But whatever it is that he wants him to do, he calls him, they will discuss. They are friends. They've been friends since uh, Wiki was a uh, 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 local government uh, chairman. So why, why is it like a do or die thing now? You know, the first responsibility of any government, any government anywhere in the world, is to protect the rights right. and properties of Chief, the state. Judge. So yeah. I yeah. am requesting him. Yeah. I don't know the outcome of the meeting they had had with him. They have had, they have had a meeting with, uh, with Fubara, and they have had a meeting with Wiki. Let's go on. There's no Chief Judge, yeah, in so, this. So we, we need to wrap yeah? up quickly now, sir. Right. Uh, let me allow uh, Ms. Ankyo Briggs to uh, give us a, the final word that sent us of the program tonight. Uh, what mm. you are an elder in the state, yeah. and I've asked people... Yes. Uh, in on this program, the are there no elders in Rivers Day to come together and resolve all of yes. these crises at the detriment of the people of Rivers Day? So, Miss Briggs, give us your final thought, yes. and which will send us out of this program. What is the way forward? A decisive, a uh, permanent the, one. Your uh, the first uh, an uh, answer to your uh, question: There are elders in River State. Mm. There are elders in PDP. There mm. are elders in APC. You are not an elder only by age. You are also an elder by what you do for your people. Mm. Now, this state is not a state that belongs to any political party. It belongs to the people of River State. It does not belong to PDP. It does not belong to APC. It is the people of River State that chooses the party they go to. And one man or a handful of people who are elders in a political party cannot impose their will on the rest of the people All right. of River State. All right. We will not accept it. Okay. Ms. No, Ankyo Madam, Briggs, thank the, you so much. The, she is an elder in River State and a uh, Nigerian than environmental activist, uh, Chief Olabode Judge. Uh, yes. Elder, let's, also a member of the Board of Trustee of the PDP. Thank you so much indeed for your time tonight. We're totally out of time. Thank, thank you so you much. Very much. I appreciate well. your thank you interventions. Yeah. Well, that's our show for tonight, everyone. Many thanks for watching. I'm Sean Kimale. God bless Nigeria. <laughs>